Hello, this is Frank Carmody, and today we're going to cover uh, making a three-dimensional shape with a hole in it, and then adding two additional holes to that shape. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open a part file. Once we have our part file open, we're going to create a simple shape using our rectangle tool. We're going to make this rectangle, we're going to dimension it to be a two by one rectangle, two inches by one inch. rectangle. Okay. Next we're going to add a circle into that rectangle. I'm going to actually use the center lines here. Whoops. Notice those green dotted lines tell me I'm in the center of the rectangle. Um, that way it won't really be necessary to dimension, but I like to anyways. Uh, we click once, pull out the dimension, click again, double click the number on the dimension to edit it, and we're going to make that point five inches. Then we're going to go ahead and dimension from the center of the circle to the side and pull up one inch from this click on the center circle to the top of the circle pull out 0.5 inches there so we're in the very center of the circle now I'm going to right click done right click finish sketch and I'm going to go ahead and extrude this sketch by clicking on extrude I'm going to select the profile here without the circle in it and we're going to extrude this to be three inches. Okay, so my first extrusion is done. So I have my basic shape without a hole in it. The next thing we're going to do is add a sketch to create our first hole. And this hole we're going to use the extrude cut. Right click on the sketch and we click new sketch. Okay, so we right click on the top on the plane of the block. So that's the top plane of the block. We could also right click in the blue area and click new sketch and then click on the plane where we want to apply the sketch. Either way, we have a new sketch on the top of the block. So create a, a hole, use cut, extrude cut feature. What we're going to do is we're going to create a circle. We'll go ahead and dimension it. Uh, we want to make this one inch. Okay. We're also going to dimension from the center of the circle to the outside of the block. Okay, which is already one inch. And then we're going to do the same thing from the side of the circle to the edge of the block, which is 1.5 inches. So we are in the center of the block. Right click done. <coughs> right click finish sketch. Now we're going to use the extrude tool. So we click extrude. We're going to click on the circle. Now there are a lot of options in the extrude, but we're going to look at the center options here, which is the first one is, or the middle one is cut. So we're going to select cut. We can look at the circle. Now, what it's showing me here is how much material I'm going to cut. Now, I can choose. Okay. I can go through the block. Okay. Or I can select distance. These are all options for how far to cut. If I cut, it's only going to go through the block. So, it it does not matter if it sends past the block. So, we select cut. We can also select which way we're going to cut. We want to make sure that it's going through the material that we're looking to cut, in this case, the block. We click OK, and there's our hole. OK, and we can go ahead and take a look there. There's our hole. OK, let's go ahead and make our second hole. We're going to right click out of the block, create. Now, for our second hole, all we're going to do one point. OK, we're going to click on the point. Then we're going to dimension. Make this hole one inch. Oops. We're going to make it in the middle of the block and then one inch from this bottom side. Okay. So let's make it one inch. Okay. So we just use the point tool to create a single point wherever we want the center of the hole. So let's right click done, right click finish sketch. And now to create the second hole, we're going to use the hole tool. And the hole tool creates holes, but it gives us a lot more options. These middle options describe how the top of the hole will look. These describe the drill bit. And then all these options describe the hole themselves. So it's that, how, the diameter of the top of the hole, how, how deep the counter bore is, how de the depth of the hole, and the size of the hole. Okay, if we remove the top, then we just have the depth and the height. So we're going to go ahead also, the termination, we can just say through all. That removes, the, the how, that removes how far we want to go through the block. Okay. So we can, see, we can go ahead and see a, an example right here. 
Okay. So through all in this case would only get us to the first hole because the that's where the material ends. So if we wanted to go all the way through the the block, we'd have to say we want to go two inches or three inches through the block. Okay. You always want to do just a little bit over just to be sure you get all the way through. Okay. If you don't remember. And we can also change the diameter of the hole. Let's go 0.5, make the hole bigger. Then we go ahead and click OK. Okay, so there's our third hole. All right, now let's, if we wanted to view um, the holes and how they intersect, we might at the top and under hidden. And now we have this nice, these, this view of how these holes are inside of our material. Okay, now it's your turn. Uh, go ahead and create with pretty containing a hole. Create a hole using the extrude cut method, and then create a second or a third hole using the hole tool. Once you're finished, go ahead and save it. Okay, in this case, Mr. Carmody hole. Once you're done saving, go ahead and turn it in by uploading or however your teacher has described. Thank you. Good luck.